हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल माइक्रो कील माइक्रोविजन पैकेज फॉर वर्किंग विथ आर्म बेस्ड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स इन कील माइक्रोविजन आई एम श्योर दैट मेनी ऑफ यू हैव यूज्ड कील माइक्रोविजन फॉर प्रोग्रामिंग योर एट जीरो फाइव वन बेस्ड चिप्स प्रीवियसली मे बी इन योर कॉलेज डेज और इन योर इंजीनियरिंग सो you you might be familiar with keel microvision but you might not know how to install a additional package for keel microvision so that you can work with arm based microcontrollers today i'll tell you how to do that the first step is uh, selecting your target device for me the target device is stm32 f411 re that is a microcontroller i am i am willing to work with so first step is open arm keel downloads page so go to the chrome click on arm keel downloads click on the first link that appears here you can see two options product downloads and file downloads click on product downloads here you will find four types of packages first one is mdk arm the second one is c51 third one is c251 and the fourth one is c166 each has a small description under it so that you can choose which package are you willing to install here you can see it is written development environment for cortex and arm devices here it is written development tools for all 8051 similarly it is for 80251 and similarly it is for c166 and xc166 based microcontrollers so now our interest is installing a package for mdk arm so i have already installed it so let me show you how the package looks so it looks like this mdk 540.exe file you have to double click on it and give give it the administrator rights uh the installing procedure is similar to installing all other packages like accepting the agreement and proceeding it further but after installing you will be stuck up in a position where it pops up the package installer i'll show you how to install a package so as i have already installed the mdk arm package I have opened package installer for you so that I can explain you how to install a specific package for the for proceeding further. So as I have said you first you have to decide upon your target device. My target device is STM32 F411 RE. So you have to not select a generic uh, target device like STM32 or STM32 F series. Yeah you can do that but the space required for installing the package might increase. so these are the different packages that are available these are the different devices that are available in the package installer uh, from this device uh, you can select a particular device and install device specific packages or you can simply proceed with installing all the packages that show up here but i prefer you to go with device specific package so that the time required for the installing as well as the space gets pres- uh, reduced so first you have to search for your manufacturing company of your chip for me it is st microelectronics here you can see it is over it is written that st microelectronics click on the plus symbol expand it and then uh, if you see my part number it shows stm32 after that f and 411 re so this means that stm32 series in that i have to uh, search for f4 series and then search for f411 variant and in that i have to select re variant so go search for stm32 f4 series you can find it here expand it and then you can see here stm32 f4 double one expand it and then you want the re variant expand it double click on this <laughs> now over your right side you can see device specific package keel stm32 f4 xx underscore dfp as i have already installed it it shows uh, it shows an option to update it for you it might show an option to install it so proceed to install and in my next video i'll be explaining how to get started with programming the arm based stm32 device in the keel microvision what all the settings you have to do initially to start a microvision project in arm environment thank you for watching